guys welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm going to show you how to get this complexion right here I had planned on doing a very vibrant eyeshadow look but this eye has been watering since I woke up this morning so I wasn't about to spend an hour doing my eyeshadow and just have it ruined within five minutes because my eye is watering so I really focused on complexion and you guys know I have been on the hunt for the perfect summer complexion I want that dew but I want longevity and I don't want to look sweaty. So I think I pinned it down. So that's why I'm going to show you in this video. And if you are curious what is on my lips, I am using a old AF uh, Rimmel lip liner. It's kind of like a orangish red. And I use that to overline my lips and fill them in. And then I went in with a L'Oreal lipstick in the shade Volcanic which is this really vibrant tangerine. And then for my gloss, I went in with the Dose of Colors Over the Top Gloss. And this is from that Desi Katie um, collaboration with Dose of Colors. So I'm gonna leave it down in the description box to let you know if this makeup lasted. And I am gonna post a few photos on my Instagram, so go ahead and check that out if you wanna see what I look like at the end of the day. Um, but for right now, if you wanna know how I got this gorgeous complexion, I, I pretty much look flawless. Like, besides my under eyes, I always have issues with my under eyes, but I think I'm having a really good day today. <laughs> anyway, if you wanna know how I got this gorgeous complexion, then keep on watching. I did use three primers for this look and I placed them around my mouth area for the most part and I did put the Tatcha on my nose to help smooth out my nose pores. And the reason I use so many primers is because I do have dry skin, um, especially around my mouth, so sometimes my foundation does get cakey, but using those three primers has definitely helped. And then it was a really hot and muggy day, um, the day I did this complexion, so that's why I'm going in with my Catrice Waterproof Translucent Powder underneath all of my foundation and all that jazz. Um, and it did help combat my oils coming through, and I was sweating that day too, so it did help my makeup stay on. Now for underneath my eyes, I still use these two concealers. I use the Maybelline Age Rewind because it is very moisturizing. It doesn't have any kind of coverage, but it definitely has the moisturization I need. Is that a word? Moisturization. The hydration I need. <laughs> and then um, I use the Too Faced one because it has the coverage and the color correcting uh, properties. So that's why I mix them and I place it under my eyes as you can see and on any dark, darker places um, that I have hyperpigmentation on my face. I do still use the ColourPop concealer to brighten my under eyes the only thing I've changed is to keep it near the center of my face because I realized that when I bring it out um, to the sides of my face, I'm making my head look bigger. And I'm not trying to do that because I already have a really big head. So uh, when I place the concealer underneath my eyes, I am trying to keep it near my nose now. Now it does, you know, spread after I blend it, but it's not very right on the outer part of my face like it was before when I was doing I have been, you know, testing out different ways of doing my makeup, different techniques, different products. So this is just version two. I, I have a couple more videos coming out for you. So this day I decided to use these two foundations. And I love the Lorac one because it is very lightweight. And then I love the Wet n Wild because it is very full coverage. And it pretty much blurs out my pores. Now I have not used this combination again because it does feel very heavy on the skin and I hate feeling like I wear makeup, like I'm wearing makeup, like I really, really hate it. So to set my under eyes, I'm using the Peach Perfect um, Loose Setting Powder. Now I love this setting powder, I still use it, but I hate this um, Real Techniques Body Blender. I don't know what they did, but this is not like the old ones. I used to love the old uh, orange ones, but um, this new pink version is too dense. I hate it. I gave it to a friend. Uh, to set my under eyes now, I use my powder puff that you had seen me use earlier in the video. And then of course, using my trusty Lancome Duo Edit Stick to contour my nose. And yeah. 
Now, like, halfway through this video, I'm not sure if it's like I got tired of filming or I just didn't realize my camera wasn't recording. I don't know, but I do, um, I don't have any footage of me bronzing my skin or anything, but I did use the Morphe, um, bronze contour and highlight palette that I'm going to show you right now to, um, bronze and contour 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 <laughs> my nose and the rest of my face but I don't show you it later on but that's it right there oh and then to contour I use the shade De part of me I use the shade at debutante So to contour my double chin, I used the Smashbox Studio Skin Dual Ended Stick, and this is in the shade 1.2. I actually found this at TJ Maxx. It was a great find because I love it. Now it's a little too dark to contour my cheekbones, but it's perfect for underneath my chin. So I just used that to, um, like I said, try to hide some of this weight that I got going on underneath my face, and just to define my jawline a little bit more. And of course, blend that down my neck. And then I'm going back in with that Peach Perfect Powder on my puff. And I am resetting my um, T-zone. And then I also did use um, a light powder on my cheeks. Just so my bronzer and blush and all that jazz um, goes on smoothly. I don't powder any other part of my face. Just my T-zone and the place where I'm going to be bronzing. Now a great tip if you want your makeup to stay like all day, like if you need it to stay like 12 plus hours, use your setting spray throughout your makeup routine, especially when you're baking. It will turn your face into concrete, like nothing will move. I have dry skin, so I'm not sure about oily skin, but let me tell you, my face, I mean it feels really heavy, but my makeup does not move when I use that technique. All right, so this is where I lost a, a few clips. I don't know if it's because my camera turned off and I didn't realize. I don't know. But I already bronze, contour, I'm highlighting. All that was from the Morphe palette. And then for my eye look, super simple. I just have my contour in my eye crease and then some highlighter on my lid. And then I just tight lined with my Milani Hooked on Espresso waterproof eyeliner. And that's just me applying my highlight to all the places that I usually highlight. And then this is the last part of the video where I apply my lips. You guys know the drill. So uh, yeah, I'm going to still be coming out with a lot more complexion videos because I have changed up what I use still. I'm continuously changing up what I use, but this is just another version. Um, like I said, I have very dry skin, so this definitely works for me. And that powder technique, using the powder underneath your foundation will definitely help if you have oily skin. So yeah. Okay guys, that's it for this video and I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!